Everybody's getting it, James G will even jack Cause I'm a beast on the track, when I fucking rap Okay, enough of this garbage, I'm causing a carnage I'm switching the barriers, I'm seeing the cabbage on this bastard Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's your boy, Sean T And we are about to do a reaction But this time, not to an African song, alright? Um, first of all, please hit the subscribe button, alright? So hit that subscribe button if you've been on this channel since um, October last year, then you know that even though we do, uh, we focus on African songs which are uh, more in tune with our African uh, realities. Once in a while, we do uh, songs from um, uh, outside the continent. All right, uh, we're we're to Eminem, to um, MGK, and um, to Dax before. So. Now it's not like their songs and um it's, it's not like we can't relate to their songs just that uh, there's um we have more of a focus we, we focus more on um uh songs that deal with our immediate immediate um society right yeah so today however we're reacting to a rapper called Tom McDonald all right Tom McDonald featured Dax in a song and his, and his song dropped a few hours ago I think like 12 hours ago or maybe more I was meant to react to it in the afternoon as soon as it dropped, but you know, one thing or the other. So, um, the first time I listened to Tom McDonald would be when he dropped Straight White Meal, alright? And, um, yeah, I agree with um, some of the things he says, I don't agree with some of the things he says, and um, sometimes, even though I can agree with him, I see where he's coming from. And no matter what, no matter what, I always appreciate a rapper who is um, willing to air his views, no matter how controversial they may be. No matter how um, negative the people accept it, if that is your truth, if that is what you, you believe is your truth, then you speak it. I respect you for that. I, I may not agree with your opinions, but I respect you for that. Now, uh, they released the track titled Blame the Rappers. And um, a few of my friends asked me to react to it. Right? So, um, I haven't listened to it yet. I, well, I, have, I listened to the first one minute, so I'm, I'm not done with the whole song yet. So uh, we already get an idea of where the song is going. So let's do this, guys. Let's do this reaction right now. Um, if you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, follow the cha follow the channel. Click the, not the notification button so you will get notifications when we release a new video. Thank you. Let's get into this. Yeah. So the white one is Tom McDonald. The black one is Dax. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably stop if it was one of us sons or one of our daughters. Okay. Okay. So, well, you can already hear him addressing some of the problems, um, some of the criticism against gangsta, against gangsta rap mostly, all right? Talking about um, uh, people who are perceived victims of the rap music, uh, uh, the, uh, the violence, the drug uh, the abuse that uh, rap music pep um, allegedly uh, perpetrates. All right. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law. The children in school, kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. Um, we. What did he say again? Let's take it back a minute. Our sons are one of our daughters. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law. The children in school. Kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. All right. I'm talking about uh, we know our demographic. People who listen to us are primarily youth, mostly youth. All right. Yes, we glorify we, uh, breaking the rules to them. So they, they go ahead and break the rules. They imitate us and go to prison, go to jail for things they are not for things that we t we taught them were were, 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 were were things they should do we taught them that they were okay to do okay we put women in our videos exploding their bodies while little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it they need a we need we put women on the in the in, the, in our videos idolize their bodies little girls grab the videos and uh, uh, grab their phones and they are watching it. A realistic role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip hop, what the hell happened? It was power to the people, and we like that stuff. These days, you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict, so I'm asking, how could y'all write that, bruh? Now, my comment as regards that, my comment as regards that, all right, is first of all, um, 
let me uh, respond. Let me let me talk about the last part he was talking about. Um, we have women in our videos and we idolize their bodies. I I personally do not think that the women in the videos are forced. All right, and then you also have there's you in some videos you also have men or uh, who are uncluted, all right, or stripped. Tom McDonald's right here doesn't have clothes on. <laughs> it doesn't have clothes on right here, right? And it's, it's not seen as objectifying him right now, right? You have um, um, some videos, like, I don't want to call names of musicians, all right, where the males in the videos go topless, and nobody sees it as objectifying the males in the video. So I get what it's saying. I get what it's saying. There's a, um, so, uh, there's a whole lot of women in the videos, but, it's, it's, it, but even when females do music videos, they also put a lot of females in their videos to come shake the ass. I mean, Cardi B organized a twerking contest. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right? A whole lot of females want to twerk. It's what they want to do. So when they do it in a rap video, it becomes bad. Secondly, if uh, secondly, if the uh, content is um is not for children, then perhaps parents should put should have more per more control over what their children watch. Not telling adults not to do um, certain things. You can't tell me not to write um, an erotic story uh, because uh, uh, your child, you, you, you have a five years old child. You should watch what your five year old child watches. Not tell me not to write an erotic story. It makes no sense. Secondly, who defines what is moral? Right? Tom McDonald right now has tattoos, he has piercings, and all of that. And, and people will be watching him. Children will be watching him too. So, should he take away the tattoos? Should we take away the earrings? Should we take away all of that? The nose rings? Should we take away all of that? Should we take away what he sees as part of his identity? Because uh, uh, people who might not agree with it might be watching. It makes no sense to me on that ground. Now, as regards the, uh, the talk of... Um, uh, what was it? The talk of uh, 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 the uh, uh, drugs and all of that. Uh, yeah, I okay, we'll, we'll talk about all that when we get towards the end. You can blame the rapper and the new go on, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so And that's and that's the point he's trying to make that you can that you that you can blame the rappers for the decadence in society makes no sense. I, mean, I will explain why it doesn't make any sense towards the end as a, or at the end of the video. is a privilege and a choice and if you ever get to be successful you must understand the people that you influence i swear by what you say and that the melodies you sing make wings build dreams and fill voids we got medication straight through voice all right um i like that a lot all right all right that's i like that a lot and um recently he has been on some uh, spiritual issues talking about um uh, making a change now music is not merely for is es for um building hope it's also for expressing grief and expressing sorrow all right that's what that's what music is for expression. So, while it is good to um, uh, give hope, while it is good to talk about the good things, it's also also good to talk about the bad things. For someone who came from a society, from um, uh, a, a community where things were so messed up, you don't expect him not to talk about what he faced, not to talk about what children in the in the, in those communities faced, not to talk about the realities of these other people. So he will talk about the drugs, he will talk about the guns, he will talk about the killings, and he's not idolizing it. He is not idolizing it. It is what was his reality. It is what is the reality of a lot of these people. So, uh, to me, if you want to blame anyone, you blame the system that creates that unfairness. You don't tell a man not to complain. You don't tell um, a, a suffering man not to complain of his suffering simply because it makes someone else who is safe um, feel bad. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Some give life and some destroy And even though this money seems nice It can't come so we must take that as a hit That there's other things in life we should enjoy We move mountains, we cross states We play roles in presidential debates So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun And you don't care about the things that our music helped make Man, I know I'm not I agree, music, making music uh, should not be um, 
just for fun to you to the uh, point that you propagate lies we've seen some rappers actually talk about um all these uh, uh, about taking drugs and all of that making it look like it's cool there are some rappers who have done that right and then uh, they do it just for the money a whole lot of these um <laughs> i'm not going to call names but a whole lot of these guys who put lil 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 in front of their names tend to do that a whole lot these days all right and i agree in that aspect i agree in that regard doing drugs is not cool you have rappers like eminem mgk who are trying to break away from that uh, no eminem has broken away from it mgk is trying to break away from it all right so it's not cool i agree with dax on this not perfect but i'll change i'm the outcome of this world and my pain and this music is pills and i promise this dose that you take won't make you say you can blame the rappers and that's the part I don't, I don't I don't agree with that you can put the blame on the rappers no you can't put the blame on the rappers there was already a messed up society before hip hop there was already a messed up society before rap you can't put the blame of the messed up society on rap there's a system that allows that allows the drugs come in there's a system that um supposed to uh do a uh, control for the videos no, 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 let's go That's another part. That's another part. See, you can't just see. You, I don't know. I I understand what they're saying. Like I get the point you're coming from. Some rappers make it look like some rappers, and I, I don't listen to those. So that's click. All right. There are some rappers who do this. Right. Who do this? Talk about uh, yeah, I see a body lolling. Nigga, shut the fuck up. It's not cool. It's not right. I'm not with it. Right. At the same time, there are rappers who talk about their frustrations and how it led them to drugs or how it made them do drugs. Talk about different issues. People should be able to express themselves, and I will stand for that any day. I, I used to react to um uh no not I used to I think I, I reacted twice to horrorcore music, right? And some of the things they talked about was it was suicidal, right? And I had to uh, find to um um listen to interviews some of these rappers and to some of their fans from some of their fans and um talked about their depression about how the music makes them uh, feel like they can express themselves and all of that well if it helps them express themselves if you have them feel like this community that understands them then they're not alone then it's a good thing you can't just take it from them simply because you're trying to protect other people you can you cannot destroy some because you're trying to protect some i don't know if that's making any sense People should be able to express themselves, be able to talk about the things that they go through. At the same time, people at the same time, people who did not go through these things and are trying to make it look cool, they are the ones who should, who who are who are messed up as far as I'm concerned. They're the ones who are doing the wrong things. You should not make it look like it's cool. Killing is not cool. Drug drug abuse is not cool. But when you hear rappers talking about, uh, when you hear some rappers like Fifty Cent talking about how he did this, how did how this happened, how this happened, it was it's not like it was it's glorifying it. This is the shit that he went through. That was the reality that he had to live through. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I swear that I'm embarrassed. Half of these artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics. And the teenage. <laughs> okay. Uh, half of these rappers can't even. I'm, I'm a rapper, but I'm embarrassed. Half of these rappers can't even um, talk. They just mumble the lyrics. Uh, talk, you can. I think we, we have a word for them. Mumble rappers, right? Just listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. There's a reason they say screw the police. There's a reason they say screw the police. There's a reason. And it's for good reason. They just mumble the lyrics, and the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. Um, they say make the world smoke weed. Nah, they don't say maybe. Well, people have their um, arguments for weed. People have their arguments against weed. All right, I see sense in both sides. To be fair, I see sense in both sides. If I personally, I'm on the side of don't smoke weed, but I'm not going to discredit the arguments of someone who says um, smoke weed because it helps your depression or smoke a whole lot of, lot of talk um, around the weed issues. All right, 
All these rappers holding guns and now the kids want some. Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood. We encourage me. Yeah, Americans gon' lose. Americans gon' lose. That's another talk topic entirely. These rappers holding guns and now the kids want some. Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood. We encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Hold up. Can't clean that blood. We encourage being stupid with our music and we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it. Little boys see the way that women look on our videos and assume it's real life. Project that image on little girls. It's unrealistic. If you're young and you listen, you are one in a million. You are loved. You are different. Hey, hip hop. I know life moves on, but while I'm here, how could you write that, dog? How could you write that? Why can't he write it? Okay, now some people have accused Tom McDonald of purposely being controversial to sell music or to get attention. Sometimes I feel like, uh, does he really believe the things he says? And I'm not sure, but if he believes it, then, then in school he's saying it, right? He is able to express this controversial opinion. Just like those rappers he's criticizing, right, uh, are able to express those controversial opinions. I don't know if somebody's getting, I, I feel like I'm talking like a pastor, man. <laughs> but yeah, the point is, people have different, um, you can criticize someone who raps about money, 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 but what if that's all the person thinks about, and that's what the person thinks is very important, and that's the person's reality. What if, what if, what if the person is just that um, money-oriented? You can say it's bad, but that is what he wants to do with his music. That's what he wants to push, and it's not such a bad thing. Where me I draw the line is where you start, um, uh, 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 encouraging people to do crime. That's where me I draw the line. All right. But when you start pointing out the 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 inconsistencies in, in the justice system, that is not a bad thing. When you say screw the police for uh for for the uh police brutality, that is not a, a bad thing. In Nigeria, for instance, now we have been asking for them to end SARS. It is not a bad thing that we're asking them to end SARS. These people are messing up big time. You can blame the rappers that you blow up But your favorite song are about doing drugs So what happens after these kids grow up And who's to blame for who they've become They made it look so cool to shoot those guns And hate the cops and to get too drunk You can blame He's saying they're trying to make you to hit the cops, get you drunk. Bro, bro, that is not true. That is not true. This guy is pushing an agenda with these words, with the kind of words he's using. Name the rappers when you show up and love the song that make you dumb. You can blame the rappers. Dollar bills and popping pills like party songs. Dollar bills and there's nothing wrong with singing songs telling people to get their dollar bills up. Right now, but I am against songs that tell people to, to pop pills. That tell people to pop. That tell people to pop pills. I'm against those songs. But songs that talk about um, the things that made me to that led me to pop pills. Um, what pop pills? What, what what it was like popping pills? Other kind of issues. You can't tell me they are wrong. This was somebody's reality, and the person should be free enough to talk about it. It's not cool in real life. Cheap thrills and going to the morning. You can blame the rappers when you blow up, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool. No, I don't know. Now that's the funny thing. That's the funny thing. All right, it's possible that Tom McDonald is speaking his own reality. That's the funny thing, all right? It's possible that growing up, um, hearing uh, hearing some of these uh, uh, gangster rappers rap about what they go through in society, he possibly thought it was cool. It's possible. And maybe that's his perspective that, okay, well, this is what these people did, and now they made it look cool to me. Nah, they, 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 a whole lot of these, these people, <laughs> I, I, I don't think they're rapping these things for you to think it's cool. Otherwise, well, let, let me not speak for them, all right? Let me not speak, let me not speak people's minds. Uh, however, what I do know is that people rap about their reality also. So, um, if I went through hell um, with the police, don't tell me not to talk about fuck the police. Don't tell me not to do that. 
All right. If I went through a fucked up society where people were trying to kill me every day, but I survived. Uh, I had to sell drugs to eat. Don't tell me not to rap about it. It was my reality. Somebody else is about to is is living that life right now. All right. Somebody who needs to sit to know that okay, my man, I see you, or um, somebody else has lived this this, this life too. Somebody who needs to feel represented. Also about um, blaming the rappers for uh, the nudity and the objectification of women, bro. Go online. Go online. You can't blame the rappers for that. You can't blame the rappers for that. Women fight for the rights to go nude. Hell, you can't even talk about what a woman wears anymore. You can't even talk about it. If you talk about it, then they say they say you are what's the word? You are you are objectifying. Yeah, objectifying a woman. You're trying to tell a woman what's to wear. So you so women have the the freedom, the right to do whatever they want to. And if a woman wants to get on the video and twerk, she has the right to. So I don't like it. Tom McDonald doesn't like it. But what we like or what we don't like doesn't play a, a part in any of this. People should have the right to do what they want to do as long as they're not breaking the law. That's where I stand. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's my reaction to Tom McDonald's um, blame the, the rappers. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with blame the rappers. I see where he's coming from. It's not a new argument. Alright, it's not something new. Alright, I think uh, um, Easy E and um, the, the rest of the of the NWA they had uh, such issues. Uh, they were questioned a lot on those issues. Tupac, Tupac had to answer questions on those issues too. Alright, so. Um, yeah, you can't tell someone not to rap about the thing, the, the realities of the person's life. So if I talk about things that are happening in my community, in the ghetto, right? Talk about my life every day. You don't, you don't tell me I'm glamorizing it. This is what I live. When you talk about um, uh, whatever you want to talk about, maybe something about your life that you're proud of, or that you went through, or that you are not happy about, I don't tell you, tell you what to rap, what not to rap. You rap based on your reality. So perhaps this is his reality. Perhaps he was messed up by the things he saw in, um, in the rap songs, all right? And um, that can happen to anyone, anywhere. Even if um, it, it can happen to anyone with any message, even if the message is meant for good. For instance, a whole lot of this um, feminism talk is actually messing a whole lot of males up, right? It's causing more trouble than harm in some places, than good in some places. So depends on what side what, on what on what side you 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 you, you fell into all right so i don't want to make this video any longer than it already is it's already about 23 minutes long and uh, so that's it Pizzo on the track i'm the one that make him run i'm the one that drop it hot fuck with me and you get shot they can get me if they plug i'm the baddest of the lot i'm the baddest of the lot